garden or you've got your eye on your Christmas tree, good. Because, well, this story happens in a wood. And like last week, there was a terrible storm, a terrible blowing in the wood. So you know what it sounds like. You know how hard it was. And so I would like you to really to blow that storm, to make that storm. Let's see if we can do it together. <laughs> Gold. 
and took them all away. <coughs> and the little tree shivered again. He said, oh, what shall I do now? The tree fairy was still listening and said, little tree, I will grant you just one last wish. Make sure it's the right wish. The little tree said, Please give me back my nice pine needles. Because my nice pine needles are not eaten by a goat. And they're not stolen by people. And the tree fairy pushed her. And she got back her pine needles. And these were beautiful pine needles. Very beautiful and bouncy. She was quite a beautiful tree and she stood there quite proudly. Towards the early evening, a man came with a spade and his son and they said, Hey, this is a nice Christmas tree. Well, look, let's have that one. And he got a spade and he very carefully dug it up. He put it in a plastic bag and the tree was taken away. Where am I going? Thought the tree. And it was taken and very carefully put in a great big container and watered as well. And then it was taken into a place which was certainly was not a forest. There was a ceiling and walls and there was no wind. And then somebody came and put tinsel and little presents and little baubles all over it with a star on the top. Well, I must be beautiful now, thought the tree. And then came candles and lights. And then she waited and waited all alone in this funny room. And then, towards midnight, the children came in. They lit the candles and the children began to sing and dance. And they opened their presents. And the little tree thought, wow, this is really the best day of my whole life. 